Hey lovelies, how's it going? Um, I'm alone, as you can see, and it strikes a pang in my heart to say that Stuart's not with me anymore. Well, he's in Toronto, but he's not at college with me. We're separated, and so we now have to do videos separately, and it's gonna be hard, but it should be fun. I'm hoping. Hope you enjoy, because we are going to try and make this a routine thing. Routine thing. So today I thought I'd talk about the thirst. What? Thirsty? No, not that kind of thirst. Well, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But, more specifically, the thirst for the D. Being at college, you really have an idea of what being thirsty for the D means because there's a plethora of students searching out there in the wilds, the hallways, the calf, drooling for the D. It sucks, because you're horny, and you don't know what to do about it, and your hand really only gets you so far, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, this is getting really pathetic and lonely. But I think being thirsty is more than just wanting sex. I think that people crave cuddles. No, it's not just cuddles. It's more of an... Um, human touch. Everybody is wants to feel loved, I guess, but everybody wants more than just a hookup. I don't know, hookups seem weird to me. It's just my opinion, I just don't really in think that they're great, because you kind of lose the intimacy that you should have within a sexual partner, but especially in the gay culture, hookups are so dominant. Look at Grindr and Scruff, they're apps entirely made for a hookup basis. You can try and create actual relationships on there, but it's difficult because everybody's searching for a hookup. They're thirsty on there. And I would know, I've been on Grindr, and some of the things I've been given, and by that I mean pictures, just not exactly what you're looking for. Like, oh, hi, hi, bing, oh look, it's a penis, thank you. And I'm not saying that using Grindr is a bad thing, because yes, hookups can be fun for some. Just in my personal opinion, I think that hookups lose some sort of intimacy. And it is just because you're craving sex or some sort of sexual attention. You're horny, looking to release. Grindr can still be good. You just have to use it correctly. It's only as good as you make it, basically. So, I don't know, we went from thirst to grinder to hookups, and I think it's all somehow related, and it is, because it's all about love, physical attention, and sexual urges, but I think that college really kind of makes people become extremely horny. You're away from your parents, you are on your own, you can do as you please, so hooking up with individuals seems extremely easy, but, you know, that's not what you should be doing, or... I guess it is something you can do, because exploring your sexuality and who you are is part of college and growing up. You kind of have to figure out what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy. But, I don't know. I don't know what the point of this is, really. I think it's just the fact that, pointed out, that, like, it is there, and I don't know if it's the right thing to do, or if it's not the right thing to do, and I kind of, like, looking for opinions, I guess. So why don't you leave your opinions in the comments and make them insightful. I will read them and maybe even make a response next week on some of the things people said and like do shout outs. But be kind, be cool, be crazy and have fun guys and don't contract STDs because that's never fun.